Bit of a cool start to our morning so far. Uh, we saw temperatures earlier just before sunrise in the 40s and 50s. But keep in mind our average lows this time of year about 48 degrees. So uh, we were pretty close to that across the Susquehanna Valley and plus or minus a few degrees. 54 was the morning low this morning in Harrisburg, one of our milder spots. But in the mid 40s there in York, that uh, was one of our cooler areas. Now, since then, we have rebounded with those temperatures, actually starting to feel Pretty comfortable here in a lot of places. Upper 60s and low 70s for most locations. You go up into some of the high terrain off to our north and northwest, and we're seeing current temps there in the middle 60s. Go to take a live look right now from our Harrisburg SkyCam and just a couple of clouds along the horizon. Otherwise, mostly sunny and a pretty nice day so far. Pretty nice afternoon for us. Super Doppler 8 is quiet across the region, but you go a little farther to the northwest, and we are starting to pick up some showers, even a couple of rumbles of thunder along this line of a, uh, actually right around a cold front. The front is just to the west of this line, and that cold front will eventually be heading our way as we head into tomorrow afternoon and drawing a little bit of moisture, some higher humidity along with that. So we're going to be talking about the chance for some rumbles of thunders, maybe some thunderstorms for us into tomorrow. But in the meantime, it should be mostly sunny today in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. We have Mannheim in the background. The Mannheim Community Farm Show continues along today. Should be a beautiful one for it. And pretty pleasant uh, highs between 70 and 76 for the afternoon. And we'll start to see some clouds increasing later today as that front gets a little closer to us. We go mostly cloudy through the overnight hours, and that will keep temperatures comfortably cool above normal. We'll see those lows dipping down into the middle 50s, then rebounding probably into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow as that cold front comes in. Now, as the front moot works its way in, there may be a couple of showers around for the morning commute tomorrow. We'll keep the shower chances in the forecast probably through around midday into the early afternoon. But as the cold front begins to approach, that's when I do expect to see some showers and even a few thunderstorms developing in sort of a broken line and moving across the state. Some of those storms could produce some gusts winds uh, across the region, but overall it should be pretty hit or miss. Right now we're tracking that cold front back here towards Minneapolis and points uh, just to the west of there, seeing the dry air east of there, uh, starting to see that humidity on the rise. So tomorrow, that's when we will start to see a little bit of that humidity increasing through the day as that cold front begins to approach. But like I said, in the meantime, it should be a pleasant afternoon, a pleasant evening for us, and overall through the overnight hours, a pretty quiet one for us. We'll start to see those clouds moving in. Here's tomorrow morning. We talk about those showers in the region, but again, here's where that broken line of showers and thunderstorms I was talking about as we head through tomorrow afternoon. It looks like between 3 and perhaps 6 o'clock for the timing on those storms. And then as the front moves through by 7 or 8 o'clock, we start to wrap up the rain completely. So uh, we're going to see some dry air back behind this cold front. As you can see, high pressure works its way in for the first day of the weekend, and things will dry out for us and also cool off. Check out the numbers. We're mid 70s here on Friday, dipping down into the middle 60s for highs on Saturday. Going to be a little breezy, but we will have the sunshine. And then we rebound just a little bit by Sunday, back into the upper 60s, low 70s on Monday. Looking at she's Sunday and Monday, looking like pretty nice days. Another front arrives on Tuesday that could give us additional shower chances and another cool down towards the middle of next week. So start